this is Steven, and today we are going to play Rockwin. Let us start a new story. Arrow keys, move up, down, left, right, space, or enter to confirm. Escape to cancel. Q to talk with mom when she's with you. Okay, Q. Okay, space. Alright, I think that makes sense. Let's start. Move the mouse cursor out of the way. Who's there? Hey. How'd you get in here? Your door's unlocked, man. Oh. Who are you? I'm Yami. I live across the hall. Did you just move in or something? No. I think I got here around the same time as you. But they never let me out of my room. Oh. I'm sorry. Eh. It's okay. I sneak out at night when the nurses aren't watching. Heh. <laughs> promise you won't tell anyone I'm here, okay? I promise. So how long are you in here for? I don't know. Mom says it could be a while. Same here. It gets really boring sometimes. I know what you mean. Someone's coming. Sorry, man. I gotta go. Hey, wait! Maybe I could visit you sometime. It's not as boring when there's two. You won't be able to get into my room. I'm not even supposed to leave, remember? Oh yeah. But don't worry, I'll come visit you again. I promise. Yami, where'd you go? Oh, okay. Now we're in control. So I should probably tell you that this game came out May 9th, May 10th. Let me look it up real quick. Rock when. Do, 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 do. Yeah, May 10th. Okay. So this came out May 10th and it is by Laura Shigehara, who. Uh, you know, did a lot of video game music and, you know, probably most widely known for, uh, you know, doing the, you know, Zombies on Your Lawn song from Plants vs. Zombies, which I love. And I've been following her work everywhere ever since then. You know, and you know, I've so I've been I've been following the development of this game, and it's it's been really fascinating look behind the scenes of how a game is made, and so I am really excited to you know get in and you know play this game for the first time, and I should probably read the description of the game. Uh, it's an adventure game about a little boy who lives in the hospital. One day, the boy asks his mom to escort him to the fantasy world from his favorite storybook so that he can ask the guardian of the forest to grant him one wish. In order to receive his wish, the boy must complete a series of challenges that revolve around helping his neighbors in the hospital by interacting with their alter egos in the fantasy world. So, wow, that certainly sounds right up my alley, huh? So we are going to... Ooh! Okay, this is the bathroom. <laughs> you can interact with the toilet. Ooh, ooh, there's a light. Can I look in the mirror? A mirror! <laughs> yep, well, certainly can interact with the mirror then. Fill the sink with water. 
Yes, no, yes. Oh, cool, okay. So there's little interactions for everything. House plant. That looks like it could use some water. Oh, oh, do I have to plant, do I have to water it? All right, I'm not gonna try reading that. Um, treatment guide. An origami hat. Open the cabinet. The cabinet is empty. All right. The door is locked and the phone is ringing. There's a sign on the door. Read it. Yes. Storage area. Patients not have loud behind this point. Okay. Phone's ringing. Hello. Hello, dear. It's mom. Mom. Just wanted to let you know that my train was delayed, so I'm going to be a bit late. Oh. Okay. I'm so sorry, dear. I'm going as fast as I can. It's okay, Mom. I understand. But I'm off work this week, and I dropped off your little brother at Grandma's. So, we'll be able to spend lots of time together. We can play games, or read to you. It'll be like our own little party. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you, too. Alright, so... That was something. Well, well, I see you're wide awake and walking around. No one told me I couldn't walk around. Ha! Okay, wise guy, I've got a couple things to tell you. First of all, some good news. Your tests have come back, and it turns out things are looking pretty good. In fact, I think it might be okay for you to walk around the halls a bit today. You mean, I get to leave my room? Indeed. Yes! Not so fast. There's something else I need to talk to you about. This morning, the cafeteria reported that a lot of food and drink was stolen from the kitchen. Since the wing was all locked up last night, we believe the thief might still be in the building somewhere. So, can you take a moment to just check and see if any of your belongings were stolen? Okay. Oh no. It's gone. Doctor, they took it. <laughs> they took Rockwood. What did they take? Rockwin, it's my favorite book in the whole world. My mom reads it to me every night. It's very special. Are you completely sure you didn't just misplace it? I'm sure. After mom finishes reading, she always puts it back in the same place. It's our tradition. Okay, calm down. What did your book look like? Hmm. It has a brown cover, it looks very old, and there is a clasp made of silver with a hole for a key. Silver clasp, eh? I guess that explains why they take a children's storybook. Well, I'm really sorry about this. I can only imagine how important it must have been to you. Is it just me or is that writing get all crooked? I want you to know that we'll be doing all we can to track down the thief. Mom's going to be sad. You know what? What? Since you're allowed to leave your room today, why don't you go talk to some of the other folks around the floor? Who knows, maybe someone will be able to help you get your book back. Take care now. I'll be back to check on you in a bit. Was the font always like chalkboardy? Or was that a sign that something is going to happen? Push the call button? No. Okay. D do I need a cup of some sort? I guess I don't think I have the ability to do anything right now. Alright, let's look around. Ooh, we've got a whole building now. 
I heard you had a pretty tough day today. You hang in there all right? You're doing great. Hmm. I guess we just look around and... There's a painter! Hey there. Um, what's up? Hey, I don't think we've formally met. I'm Cora. It's probably pretty easy to remember me because I'm the only girl in my grade with a pink mohawk. Well, cool! And don't worry, my mom knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't worry, my mom knows my hair is pink. It's, it's, it's okay, it's okay, I got this. <laughs> She's the one who let me do it. Anyways, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too, Cora. Oh hey, some friends and I are working together to do something special for the people on our floor here in the hospital. Like what? I'll have more details later. But if you find anything cool you'd want to donate, come talk to me. Okay. I know a lot of folks feel powerless when they have to stay here. But here's the way I see it. No one knows how much time they have in this world. My time could be up in 80 years. Or 8 minutes. Point is, I'm going to do everything I can to make good use of my time. Time's precious, you know. If I could help just one person here to feel happier, then it'd be all worth it. That's... Yeah, hey, 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 gotta hand it to her, that's... Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Did you hear about the thief? Dude, yeah! Chef Pinky came out here earlier and he was not happy. I guess the thief took a lot of food from the cafeteria kitchen. I don't know why I told, suddenly got a different accent. Okay. How the heck did they get into the kitchen? You can't even get it there from the cafeteria. Believe me, I've tried. Hey there. Who do you want to know about? Tony, Sue, or Jackie? How would you know about any of the names when I've just left the room? Okay. Just between you and me, I think Tony's hiding something. He acts so grumpy all the time, but he's got this pretty little music box in his room that he guards with his life. Why would a grumpy old dude like that have a sweet little music box? Sue's a sweetheart. But she's obsessed. Obsessed? Yeah, I guess she had to move to the hospital before saying goodbye to her friend. And that's pretty much all she talks about now. Okay, right, okay, okay, so so the point of the game is to help the people. So I guess with Tony, we're gonna have to figure out something about his, his backstory involving the music box. Sue, we're gonna have to have her help her say goodbye to her friend, and then Jackie. Jackie's that guy over the blood draw station. He's cool. A little weird. But cool. If you ever need to know about anything any technical, he's the guy to ask. Okay, that didn't really help much. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Hello, small child. What brings you to my blood draw station? Interested in learning about the circulatory system? Platelets? Perpetual motion machines? <laughs> what can I help you with? Sometimes I like to contemplate things like, why are there only two egg-laying mammals in the world? I'm sure many species could benefit from laying eggs. But so far, only the platypus and in it should it echidna families have hopped on that bad bandwagon. Well, if I could lay eggs, I would be laying eggs all the time. Uh huh. Come here. I'll let you in on a secret. Have you noticed anything strange about this hospital? Hmm. Not really. A while back, I started noticing cryptic little messages written all over the place. And last night, I saw someone go into that closet south of Tony's room, but... I was told that closet has been locked since before I started working here. I'm pretty sure they were not staff. 
do they look like? I only saw them out of the corner of my eye. And for a second, so unfortunately, I cannot say. But can I help? Tell me about folks here. Uh, Pinky. The children love Chef Pinky. If he notices someone is having a bad day, he'll give them ice cream. Ah, uh, ice cream. Using the scientific secret of salt to lower the freezing point of ice in order to freeze the cream. Genius! Do, do, do. I knew Kisaburo back before his mind started going. We spoke often. It's sad to see someone mental condition deteriorate like that. What do you mean? Well, for example, recently, the staff found him outside digging in the mud again. He was on his hands and knees, making piles of mud using spoons he got from the kitchen. Oh, man. But hey, maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe he was looking for buried treasure. Danielle is the purple-haired girl who hangs out in the cafeteria. She sews the most marvelous plushies for the patients here. Alright, so we're learning a little bit about people. Is there anything over here that I can look at? Nope. Alright. Nurse, did you call me? Yeah. Apparently the toilet in Sue's room is broken now. Can you do anything about it? I'm a nurse, not a plumber. I don't even know how to fix a toilet. <laughs> well, someone has to do it. You know we're short-staffed. Fine, I'll go see if I can dig up some supplies. Ooh, we got a little event happening. Hey, don't touch that. Can't you see I'm working here? Quit bugging me, kid. I got a lot to do right now. And my stomach is growling. What I wouldn't get for a peanut choo-choo. Peanut choo 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 choo. So, the toilet in there is broken. Some metal thing is stuck inside. If you have to go, you should probably find a different bathroom. Hey, what are you doing? I, um, this is a girl's room, you know. If you really gotta use the bathroom, come talk to me. What? What? What is this? Uh, Winston. How are you doing today? My wife's been asleep for months now, but I still talk with her every day, and sometimes I read to her. Have you noticed that some of the doors around here have electronic passcode devices? I've been told that those areas have long been closed off, even to the staff. But recently, I noticed that one of the devices had been turned on. On occasion, I've had to take Sue back to her room. She has a habit of walking around aimlessly on certain nights. I believe Tony hasn't talked with his family in a long time. It makes me sad to think that families can be torn apart just because people don't see eye to eye on something. I heard that Cora and her friends have been working on a special project to boost morale around the hospital. Last I heard, they were calling themselves the Tal Cape Heroes. The world could use more heroes. In case you didn't catch on to that, I was trying to do a Winston impression from Overwatch. Because his name is Winston. Just in case you didn't pick up on that subtleties. So you want to use our bathroom, eh? Well, I guess. Yeah, I get it. We all gotta go sometimes. But I can't let anyone use our bathroom. It's a girl's room, you know. Gosh, it looks like you really gotta go, though. Hmm. Well, how about this? See that jar next to me? Oh, no, not a jar. It's a pee jar. <laughs> That's my marble collection. <laughs> I'm missing some though. I was carrying a bunch of them around in my pocket and I'm pretty sure some fell out. If you could find me just one, 
I think you use our bathroom whenever you want. Do you think you could do that for me? I'll try my best. Thank you. The last place I was playing was with Danielle in the cafeteria, so you might want to check around there. Oh, okay, that could use some water too. Are we going to be getting a water plant, a water thing to plant for all the plants? I wonder. Maybe I'm just overthinking. Do we have to go into each of these rooms? Ooh, you have some hot cocoa. I want some hot cocoa. Give me some hot cocoa. I haven't seen you in a long time. It's good to see you walking around again. You need something? It seems these days it's getting harder and harder to find the words. Either that, or people just aren't listening. But you know, if it's my time to leave this world, then I'm ready to go. I just want to make sure I say the things I need to say before it's too late. You need something? I've been telling people, the nurses, for a long time that someone had been sneaking around you here after hours. I heard they were stealing food from the cafeteria kitchen. Which means they obviously have some way of getting into parts of the hospital that we patients don't have access to. What, were they crawling through the vents? You'd have to be pretty small to fit through there. But no one around here listens to me. They all seem to think that I've lost my mind. You... I'm not worried for gossip. You need something? Okay. What? What is that? It appears that there's a tunnel running through here that has been blocked off. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, secrets, secrets, secrets. Now, where did I put that key? I must have dropped it somewhere. All right, so there's going to be a key that's going to help us get to places that we normally wouldn't be. How's your, detec how's your detective work coming along? Finding good leads? So, wait. Since when am I a detective? Alright. What the heck do you think you're doing in my room, kid? Get out! It figures. When I want visitors, no one shows up. But when I need peace and quiet, every idiot in the world has to come to my room. And where's that nurse with my coffee? There's no point in talking to Tony before he's had his coffee. <laughs> He'll just growl at you like a big angry bear. I heard that, you little brat! <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Doors locked. Keep that only authorized personnel allowed beyond this point. All right. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> whippersnapper. <laughs> You're always barging into my room when I don't watch you around. I'm getting too old for this shit. And the door's locked. Okay. So. Hmm. Okay, there's the cafeteria, right? Yes. The new patient lounge is still being built. Please come back later. All right. Can I check in the locker? Open the locker. Door is rusted shut. <gasps> oh! Snowy marble. Aha! Ooh, found the snowy marble. We found snowy marble. I told you you're not supposed to have cats in the hospital. It's fine. She's a seeing eye cat. 
My vision is really bad. Get it out of here, Danielle. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Pinky is the worst. Sorry, but you know you're not supposed to leave this wing. All right, so I have the snowy marble now, so I could go back to the to um Sue's room. Hey there, long time no see, buddy. You hungry? You need something? Did you hear? They finally stocked the vending machine out in that in the hospital hall with peanut choo choos. The shift leader was in here the other day, begging us to do it. Guess it's not just kids that like them, eh? So I can get a peanut choo choo, and that'll let me give it to the one person who is hungry. Oh yeah, someone came in here and took a bunch of food and drinks. Ain't no way they got in here through the cafeteria. See that metal door up there? It comes down after hours and no one gets through that. So, I bet they somehow got into the backspace. The, the backspace? Yeah, it's a network of closed off rooms, passageways, half built rooms, storage closets, you know. The aftermath of, well, yeah, it's crazy back there. Don't tell her I said this, but Danielle's got a heart of gold. She spends her free time coming in here and selling toys for all the patients. And really don't tell her I said this. She's a bit of a crazy cat lady. I heard that! Eh, what can I say? It's true! Yeah, it is. If that Kissaburro comes in here one more time borrowing my stuff, I swear. Borrowing? Oh, yeah. He took all my soup ladles. And for what? To go digging in the mud outside to look for buried treasure. I feel bad for the guy, though. It's never easy when one starts losing their mind like that. Must be even tougher for his family. Jack is a smart guy. Sometimes I think he's on another planet. But if there's one thing we can talk about, it's food. Of course, we have different methods. He's all science. He cooks with his brain. I cook with my heart. That's that. So... Where's the vending machine? All right, first I have um, the marble. So I might as well take care of that first. Semi-functional, <laughs> semi-functional. <laughs> I don't have any money, so I'll, I guess I'll have to come back for that later. But I have that snowy marble, that's something. I uh, give to her. Oh, you found my snow world. Snow world. Shh. Can't you keep a secret? These aren't just marbles, you know. They're little worlds. All of these are tiny planets. With tiny people living inside. That's why it's so important for me to find them all. This swirly white marble is a snow world. It's snowing all the time there. I know that might sound boring, but it's not. Real snowmen live here, and they are always having parties. What kinds of parties? Snowman dance parties. I love dancing. Me too. Oh, they have pretty lanterns everywhere too. And a blue campfire that feels cold. But if we went there, we wouldn't freeze. Snow would make a magical drink that can keep a person warm. So we could dance with them and never get too cold. That sounds great. Thanks for helping me. I feel better now that they're back with me. My name's Sue. It's nice to meet another kid around here. 
Oh yeah, feel free to use our bathroom anytime you want. If you find any more marbles, do you think you can bring them to me? Of course. Thanks so much. All right, let's turn the light on. And ooh, there's another fill this thing with water. I don't know why we're filling these things up with water. It looks like the toilet is stuck. Flush? Okay, so if I have the right tools, then I'll be able to exit through there. Take it. Okay, I received the key. Tony's bathroom. Oh. Oh. Okay. Tony's bathroom. Where is Tony? Gemma and Sue. Was Tony the cranky guy? No. Yeah. Tony... Tony was the cranky guy, wasn't he? Ah, them kids and their little marbles and flushing my keys. A box labeled 5C power supply. Hmm. Do not tamper with this device. Hmm. What happens? I mean, come on. I mean, there's a lever there, and there's an option to pull down the lever. Well, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just ignore it? I mean, no, of course. I'm going to pull the lever. Oh, it's on. All right, was that... 5C. Room 5C. Room 5C. Wait, no. I don't think it says. Well, we shall find out what happens in the next episode. <laughs> That's it for this episode of Rockwin. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to help me continue making videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Link to that is in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.